All right, what is up, you beautiful people? And welcome back to another Shellcast Sunday. Uh, we have a brawl sent in from the Mercenaries, uh, Mercenary Emporium Brawl, which features uh, two mercenaries and Bountiful. So those are the brawl mod for this week, and or, or not this week, but for this brawl mod. Um, and so I think this was sent in by Azure Hunter, I think. I think it was sent in by Azure Hunter. I'm not sure. I think it is, though, because I remember Azure Hunter. Um, did comment? I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, uh, let's see. Is Azure Hunter playing as... Oh, no. It's not sent in by Azure Hunter. Who is it sent in by, then? Is it sent in by Void Swarm? I think it's sent in by Void Swarm, boys. Okay. It's just Azure Hunter seems like a familiar name. Anyways, so um, the Brawl Modifiers are pretty plain and simple. Just lots of money, lots of mercenaries, maybe some timing death pushes. So I think some of... Uh, I think... Was it Mika... Mika, 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 Mika T. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that name, boys. I uh, hope you, hopefully I didn't butcher your name, uh, at least your YouTube username. Um, uh, saying that the aspect ratio of the zoom out here is a little bit wonky from the normal direct strike, and I do agree with that. I am not quite sure like how I'm supposed to fix that because uh, I'm pressing Control Z here, so this is what I'm looking at. I think this is definitely a little too close. I feel normal direct strike, you like turn a little bit more this way, but not like that. Um, and then, like, if I go Shift Z, that takes me all the way out. Control Z takes me a little bit more in. I think, I think, is this the the normal aspect ratio? I can't really tell while I'm in replay mode. But anyways, let's um, let's just watch this here. So, the reason why I think it's Void Swarm who sent it in is because um, this clip features twelve motherships. That's right, boys. <laughs> we got twelve motherships coming in here. So, uh, strap in for some mothership enjoyment, boys. Um, I don't think even I've been able to buy 12 motherships before. I think that's just quite a lot. There's an Artanis here. Ooh, okay. I wonder what Artanis is going to do here to, uh, you know, fight off 12 motherships. Got Zagara. And I guess the Haka. Oh, man. They're not going to stand a chance against 12 motherships. Um, but let's strap in here. I mean, I kind of already spoiled the outcome. I mean, the title of this video is going to spoil the outcome because you guys probably clicked here to see the 12 motherships. Um, so yeah, if you guys uh, have not heard the news, apparently there is some spooky, scary skeletons that you can add into your weekly brawls now, uh, or just for commander modes as well. Uh, so I'm gonna be playing that, so um, soon TM. Soon TM as in like, you know, probably the videos that are be coming out like next, ooh, like, like on Monday-ish, we'll have them, and definitely for the live stream for 3,000 subscribers, celebrating 3,000 subscribers is definitely gonna have um, those spooky, scary skeletons, boys. Uh, there we go. So, uh, apparently spooky, scary skeletons increase, like, buffs your units or something. Also based on how much money, uh, you do not have, which is very interesting. I'm gonna have to play around with it. I'll definitely play around with it on stream with you guys, for sure. Um, so yeah. So... Looks like we got some stalkers going on here. Dahaka's is just doing some Dahaka things. That's about all that's going on here. Uh, pew pew. You know, Dahaka doing some slappy hands. Uh, and then there's that. Uh, there we go. We got some Banelings coming out here. Um, we got some Centurions here coming out from big guns. Not to be confused with Bob's guns. Uh... There we go. Boom. We're just charging in here. Zagara's is completely overrun. Um, and there we go. We got some dust wings coming out here. And we got some Tempest coming out here. I like those. I like the way this man thinks. And Void Swarm here coming in with some Marines. Okay. We have no doubt that it is definitely Void Swarm sent in. I mean, also, you know, he, he's the only Alarak in this game. So, yeah. Um, there we go, boys. Uh-huh. There we go. Got some Stalker Stacker coming in here. I guess it's going to protect those tanks over there. Um, there we go. Tank here. Siege Breaker just getting collapsed upon by Taka. The Taka just ran up to it and says, Not today. I'm going to slap him. He's dropping that forearm, backhand, uh, forehand. That's one way to put it, boys. Um... Anyways, it looks like we got just double Vor Zoom here, just gonna be stacking up real hard with the Stalker Stacker and the Centurions. But I'm pretty sure eventually Zagara pushes through that, so you need like Corsairs and um, other stuff like Oracles to deal with that, <laughs> probably. Um, Banshees here, undetected. 
just gonna have free reign here. Corsairs are also very good against those Banshees here. Unless we've got some Marines here. They are not gonna last long against those Havocs. Alarak with the Empower Me. We got some... Okay. We got some uh, Vikings here trying to make a little dent. Are these Creepers? No, they're just normal Primal Hosts. Okay. Well, that's that. Whoa, I just pressed 1 here. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Oh, is this the player view? I think this is the player view. Okay, this this looks more like direct strike. Okay, I just gotta I just gotta hit the player view once. There we go. I'm like this looks a little bit better. This looks more like direct strike that I'm used to. The aspect ratio that I'm used to. Uh, although, yeah. There we go. I think yeah, that looks more familiar. Anyways, um, and it turns out I was on the correct one this whole time, and then now I switched it back to like the not correct one. It's too late, boys. I'm sticking with this one. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, Marines rolling up here. Um, Vikings just gonna go to town, destroy these Banshees with ease. But uh, ooh, Vikings gonna get distracted by the Banshees, and they're not gonna be hitting the Tempest. Tempest being the most important targets here. Boom. I mean, they're going down nice and slow here, I suppose. There we go. Oh, we've got some invisible tanks coming in here. Black Hole, Artanis going to shield it up here. Unfortunately, invisible tanks have nothing to hit. Oh my god, he does not have the stasis ward upgrade where you can hit the targets that are in stasis. See, there's no point buying the stasis ward. I mean, there's no point not buying that upgrade, especially if you're going to use stasis ward. So it looks like here, stasis ward is coming up. I wish stasis ward would autocast. You know, I wish it would autocast. By the way, Tempest costs 375. Not 350. I wish Tempest cost 350, boys. They used to cost 360. Um, they used to cost 360. But yeah. Uh, I wish, boys. I wish. Uh, but anyways. Are you up for some weaker balls? Uh, how do I join the clan? Shadow 2408. Well, uh, I'm going to have to let them know that I'm in the shell cast right now. <laughs> uh, I'll in invite you after this show cast. There we go. But, we have to sit tight here because we got like a few more minutes left on this game, you know? I think the amount of Tempest he has right now will out DPS it. Tanking. Okay. So let's see. I'm actually kind of curious. I feel like Tempest beat Motherships. But, um... I don't know, boys. I feel like the grounded Vikings should uh, do fine. Especially because, like, the motherships are just going to be hiding the Vikings, right? Um, Wrathwalkers are 375 as well. They also used to cost 360, I believe. Uh, and then that was apparently too strong, so they got nerfed. RIP. Um, and then there we go. Thank you for the shout out, Shadow. I love your consistent viewership, I suppose. <laughs> what else I wanted to say? Thanks, thanks for being here and appreciating the content. I'm doing my best, boys. Uh, or maybe, I don't know about best best, but I'm trying my best to keep it up, you know? Um, I think there are many things that I could always do better, but, you know, can't get too negative on yourself. Okay, there we go. Stalker's blinking in on their super stealth. They're just going to proc all those Tempests here. Whoa, 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 that Stalker sacrificed itself, blinking in to the Creepers. That was some, that was some, that was some spicy micro, boys. Well, you know what? I guess I just gotta play more hands-on boards. I don't know, when I play Direct Strike, I just like sort of observe, you know? I'm just like, I'm not microing at all. Like, I, I I think some of you guys gave some really good poignant comments, uh, and valid comments about uh, why my Warzone videos are not too great. It's mostly because I'm pretty lazy with Warzone. Uh, <laughs> I think Warzone's just like, you just gotta, you just gotta like, min-max cheese, put down stuff, do this, that, and I'm just like, yeah, how about I just buy Stalkers? Um, so yeah, there we go. So we got two motherships coming in here. We got some Hell's Angels. Hell's Angels are definitely going to be putting some work on those Tempests here. Uh, I mean, if I was Artanis, I'd buy some Hell's Angels too. I mean, at this point, it's going to be an all-out, like, air battle, it seems like. Aerial Burst Sacks could actually be very potent against motherships. Um, it's just that you need lots of them. Like, you need lots of Creepers. Motherships probably going to take out the cannon here. Okay, not too bad. Um, 
the Zagara rein in the motherships with like a bunch of Scourge? Eventually the Scourge are gonna lose to the mothership uh, Thermal Lance. Uh, but we'll see here. There we go. I also learned apparently that the Thermal Lance in co-op does 200 damage and not 20. Um, so I suppose <laughs> they did have to get balanced. I cannot imagine Thermal Lance doing 200 damage, boys. And then having multiple motherships. Either the motherships would have to cost as much as an August grad, or like, you could only buy one of them. <laughs> if Thermal Lance did 200 damage. Because um, that means a one shot basically anything that's not a capital unit at that point. Um, so the Tempest here is just going to load it up on that mothership here. Mothership's going to go down. Um, okay, that's a that's a fat stack coming in here. Dahaka shoving in with the hybrid. Uh, Vorzin with the stealth tanks here. Does he still not have stasis board? The uh, stasis board upgrade? Because the tanks automatically dropped aggro after the units, like, got stasis warded. Man, you gotta get that upgrade, I feel. Because, like, otherwise you're just, you're just saving your opponent's units for later. Looks like there's a huge death push coming in here. Hybrid coming in from all sides, both sides dropping hybrid, but... The, the amount of reavers and the fat stack of units back here is just going to pummel this into the ground. We only have two motherships here. The only downside of motherships is, well, they spike in damage whenever you get the next one. But when you only have two, now well, things are going to get real spicy. In the sense that, here goes the bunker. Things are looking actually t really bad right now um, for our mothership team. But, uh... It look, it's looking like the game's almost over sort of thing. We got some hybrid coming out here. We got a lot of the uh, tier 1 hybrid. These guys are pretty good in terms of just staying in the back and dealing damage. Um, even better with the stim pack, honestly. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Tanks are going to be sieging up here. We got some Corsairs. Corsairs, I think, actually counter the uh, Creepers really nicely if they are aggro to the Creepers. Uh, but if they're aggroed onto the Tempest, then uh, they're going to be struggling. We do have some Hells Angels here. Uh, maybe some invisible Hells Angels could be really good. Invisible tanks here. Uh, is there an Overseer? Oh, there's an Overseer. That's the end of those tanks. Uh, okay, we got three motherships coming in here. We got some Scourge, but the Scourge are not going to make it to connect. Uh, the Vikings in the center going to obliterate uh, whatever else flies in here. With three motherships, though, that's pretty tough. And we got all these Destroyers coming in here. The hybrid destroyers are the most... Like, you just want numbers at this point. You're just trying to hold the gates right now. And no better way to plug the gates than with large numbers of pretty strong units, honestly. The hybrid destroyers, I think, have like 500 base health. Yeah, and they got 100 shields. So, uh, they are pretty strong. So, now we got a reverse stack going on here. Dahaka's going to be pushing into us. That Ultralish just got demolished. Oh, aerial burst stack. Not going to be enough. Only taking out one mothership. A single Hell's Angel here is no match. And Creeper Host is going to get scanned on. That's going to be about it here. Double scan coming out, but that's okay, boys. Two motherships still here in the back, providing some fire support here. Corsairs here tanking for the motherships, I think. Yep, they are. Uh, Corsairs also happen to be very good against Cigar's Scourge, so I think this is actually a perfect combination. Uh, and I'm actually I'm actually uh, seeing the mineral count here for Void Swarm. I mean, super interesting. Ooh! Phoenix is here, picking up all these units here. I think if I was Artanis, I would just say, forget Phoenixes. I just keep buying more Tempests. Like, in order to contest motherships, you just need more Tempests. We've got five motherships on the field here. One of them about to time up from the previous wave, but that still means we got four. Even if the Haka eats one of them, which he should be. Yeah, there he goes. He ate one. There's still three motherships on the field. And even if the Haka eats, like, a mothership every single wave now, there's simply too many of them. Like, they're just going to neutralize him, and then they're going to neutralize everything else. And GG coming out here from Azure Hunter. Maybe a little, maybe a little premature, let's see. Considering we got to 12 motherships, I'm kind of curious, like, how this game manages to last long enough for 12 motherships, because things are looking pretty spicy here already. Although, the motherships are going down, and I guess the Stalkers and the Invisible Tanks don't really have what it takes to uh, close out the game, I think. Um, we got two Immortals there, oh man. They got really, a, they, they got shafted right there, boys. Um, oh, you know what? The Tempest is going to stack up again, I think. If there's no black hole coming out, the Tempest is going to stack up. And, oh, there's a shield coming out here, too. Really desperate to try and hold on here. Invisible tanks are doing some, dropping some hits on the base. 
We got some hybrid coming out here. A single hybrid, you know, because you just got to send out units here. Three motherships still. Okay, yeah, so this, like, reverse stack stacks it up again. There's just, there's just not enough firepower to end the game. So I think the game only ends because there's just so many motherships that it doesn't matter. Like, they just stack up hard enough. But anyways, this Tempest stack here is quite lethal to anything that's capital sized. Uh, and I think it's going to be pretty good against all these uh, Vorzu units as well. Because at the end of the day, also because, like, the Creepers are going to splash damage those guys real hard. Air units here flying right over here. Vorzun really doesn't have anything. This Vorzun really has nothing else in, in on the field besides like, just invisible stalkers uh, and some Hell's Angels, which are going to get completely beat up here. Yeah, the bo the both Vorzuns, their wave just seems to get collapsed upon. Ooh, I'm hearing some lots of units coming out here. Pretty much of the hybrid coming out. We got four motherships coming out here. Maybe there's like a desperate hybrid drop to try and hold it back. Uh, so it's just going to be this like sort of back and forward. GG for you guys. Purple is calling it out right now. He's saying it's over, boys. Just uh, tender your resignation here. Immortals coming in here, getting completely smacked down. Invisible tanks doing the swan tank dance. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. The swan tank dance. The siege up on siege. Uh, unfortunately, though, the stalkers are just going to get completely clobbered here. Invisible tanks. Um, they're doing something, I guess. I just, I don't know, just, they, if they could shoot enemy air units, but yeah, get your black hole ready. Oh, here we go. Are we going to get a black hole coming up? I mean, there's two black holes. Like, there's two Vorzun players. Okay, that's black hole number one. Whoa. Oh, man, the Corsairs are vaporizing everything in there with that AoE. That did pretty well. Uh, I think what you want to do is black hole when Alarak has empower me so that his, his uh, knockback wave just shreds everything that's inside the black hole. Uh, there are now five motherships coming in here, and a lot of Hell's Angels. I mean, our tanks could just try and like drive by with the Mortals or something like that. I don't know. That's a lot of Tempest and a bunch of a bunch of Hell's Angels. I think that's not enough Tempest though. Is it? No, it's not. There's five motherships. One mothership, basically two shots of Tempest. Uh, Dahaka with a single Mutalisk. Well, that poor Mutalisk was sent out to pasture, boys. Uh, and there's a Tyrannosaur. That <laughs> unit is also being sent out to pasture. I think Dahaka's got to focus on whether he wants to plow through these units or, or not. Because, um, I mean, if Dahaka keeps stacking Creeper Hosts, he might have potential to just keep flying through. But, I don't know, he doesn't heavily have any frontliners. Ooh, that's a lot of Corsairs. I guess that's what you guys mean by the Corsair cheese. Huh? Just put down all those Corsairs and prevent. Like, that entire Zagara wave just couldn't do anything. And then we have like the stealth tanks here. We got some back and forth here. GG for you guys coming out from Azure Hunter. It's always nice to see some uh, some banter, boys. You know, you know, a game's going good when you got some got a little bit of trash talking. I feel like I feel like you got to trash talk a little, but don't take it so seriously. You know, sometimes people get real heated and they're like, ah, or something like that. So, all right, here we go. We got we got we got five motherships. One of them gets eaten. Still got four of them, but I feel like there's not gonna be enough DPS here. And then it's going to create another restack. And that's just the flow of this battle, boys. Just the flow of this battle. I think it's just the stack, restack, stack, restack. And eventually, one stack breaks the other camel's back. Um, and then uh, it's going to work It's gonna work out for one of the teams. I don't actually know who's going to win. I have not previewed. I'd never preview my replays because then, like, it's not surprising. I just, like, have a little... Because you guys, when they send, when you guys send them in, there's a little description, which is very great. I'm very thankful for that description. It's a higher chance of getting the replay... Uh, viewed to be honest if you guys have a little description and if you guys have any replays like you know hiding around especially with the spooky skeleton for spooky season i might like uh you know grab some of those i'd love, love to see some uh, cool things you guys are doing um so send them in and i uh, I'll, I'll feature them um as 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 you say in french oh hazard which means at random or by hazard so i suppose it's like at random i think it's around the same thing oh hazard uh anyways we got six motherships coming in um now that's been reduced to five. Some tyr tyrannosaurs, by the way, are not the right choice against motherships because motherships love big targets because they do like 300 damage to one target. Motherships hate small targets uh, to an extent, I think. The thermal lance, if you have enough of them, will just eradicate small targets as well. I think the corsairs actually are going to be a lifesaver against those creepers. No, they're not. The creepers fly a little too fast. Oh my god, disruption web coming right through. Cigar's entire wave just ran forward, doing absolutely nothing on the ground. Ooh, wait. 
Oh, wow. Some of those Scourge connected. When they did, they just blew up all those Corsairs. But it looks like just like, it's just Corsairs. A large amount of Corsairs escorting the motherships. Or is it the motherships escorting the Corsairs? I don't know, boys. Um, I don't think Phoenixes can beat Corsairs. Mirages, I think, stand a chance, though. But it's like, it has to be a one-to-one -one ratio, is what you guys told me. Uh, and, I mean, Tempests are kind of, they're kind of taking a beating from the Corsairs, actually. And the Corsairs are actually tanking for the motherships uh, really nicely here. We got seven motherships out here. One of the reasons why I love Bountiful is because you can do stupid stuff like this. Like, build so many capital units. And, you know, it's the best feeling. Like, you know, I just want to build all the big units in my roster, you know? Uh, that's one of the reasons why I love Manx so much is because he has so many big units. And, like, it's, I think it's one of the first reasons, like, why I took to Raynor as my first commander that I really, like, really liked. Because you could build a gigantic battle cruiser. Unfortunately, you can only build one of them. If I could build multiple Hyperions, you guys bet me, you guys just bet that I will be doing that, boys. Like, Hyperion back to back to back. Can you imagine that? Just being able to build, like, a whole fleet of Hyperions. Um, but anyways, we got we got a we got a we got some black hole coordination here. So maybe like it's like you know oh black hole coming out here, 22 seconds. Oh, if anything, like they could have just doubled up in the black hole. This tempest stack though do be looking kind of lethal because it is gonna be supported by the nexus and the Haka's wave. Um, and it's just Alarax wave coming right here. We got seven motherships on the battlefield. I don't I think the most motherships I managed to build by myself was like seven or eight, and then the game like finished like it just ended. Uh, I now have eight motherships. Oh, baby. This is only things you can do in the Bountiful Week, boys. Um, <sighs> beautiful. Oh, my. Look at all that disruption web here. The ground is basically like, I don't know, the 49th parallel or something. Actually, no, that's not true. That's like a demilitarized zone. You're not allowed to attack. And then there's like just lots of soldiers. Actually, you know what might be true? There's just lots of soldiers everywhere, but he's not allowed to attack. <laughs> Supposedly. I don't know. <laughs> You're not allowed to attack here. Uh, anyways, Psy Storm's coming out here. Archon's getting feedback. Well, Dark Archon's getting feedback by High Archons. High Archons just completely dump, dump on Dark Archons. High, Arch High Archons are like, yeah, man. I went to Templar School or like Templar Academy. And Dark Archons are like, the streets raised me. Or I don't know. Um, there's some there's some bad assumptions going on there, so I'm just gonna stop right there. Uh, anyways, um, we're just gonna mothership's just getting melted here actually by the large army of Hell's Angels and Tempest. Um, looking like the sack is gonna turn back the other way. Um, oh wait, wait a minute. Those corsairs are very vulnerable to uh, the Tyrannosaurus and their big. Uh, oh, that's why you had. Sorry there, boys. We got cut off a little bit because I ran out of this place, um, and I like totally forgot to clean out, like uh, you know, because I, I I habitually scrub my previous weeks worth of recordings because obviously I don't have that much disk space. Uh, so yeah, sorry. I was just talking about how the Tyrannosaurs just dumpstered those Corsairs. Uh, but anyways, you can see here this giant shielded stack here is about to essentially enter onto the other side and shift things around once again so let's just keep continuing here good thing i can just pause the replay we're gonna drop some hybrids here okay oh shields wearing off but zagara is stimming up the entire way that's gonna be huge amounts of damage this game is action-packed i like i like replays that are action-packed honestly we got nine motherships and a bunch of hell's angels here can they hold off this gigantic wave it's looking like the wall of motherships is slowing this attack and it's buying some precious time for the hybrid wave to come out here. And it's buying precious time for Warzoon's black hole to come up perhaps. Oh my god, disruption web here just making Artanis' units unable to do anything. And the Corsair AoE here is going to be crazy by the way. When they get sucked into the black hole. Yeah, with that many Corsairs, that's just going to obliterate anything. Even with the high armor count. Uh, but Corsairs here not going to stand much of a chance against the super thick Mutalisk here. But don't worry, we got another round of Corsairs coming in here. And, uh, you know, they they, they, they they do say, let me die with honor. So they're just going to go in there and they're just going to blast their way through all these units. There we go. Dark Archons here. Uh, ooh, okay. Explosions. 
Man, every time Zagar enters the battlefield, it's just chaos. But then again, also 24 minutes into a direct strike game, it usually is pretty chaotic. Uh, if it's not chaotic, then like something's wrong with the game, boys. Uh, anyways, I think this is nine motherships. I cannot tell at this point. They're all on top of each other. Um, anyways, good thing there's no anti-air like AOE here. I mean, the Archons are gonna ding the mothership shields for like 80 damage, I think, with their Psy Storm, like at max. So, eh, yeah. Um, and uh, there's not enough Tempest to keep up with the amount of motherships here. Artana should have never stopped buying Tempest, I think, against... I don't know, I think they were trying to just try and barrel through on the ground. You can see here the Creeper ho like the creeper Host, I think, killed like two motherships, but there's still like four or five of them here. And Hell's Angels brought down another one, but the Corsairs are going to bring down the rest of the Hell's Angels here. That's a huge army of Corsairs here. Oh, man. And Borzoon's wave here. We got some queens trying to heal up the uh, corruptors here, and it's a good thing that actually there's two Borzoon allies because that means there's just a constant stream of corsairs coming in to protect the motherships. Because Scourge are still quite powerful against mothership. Oh my God! Look at all those corsairs, man. Twelve motherships, but also five million corsairs. <laughs> the corsairs were being carried inside the mothership all along. Yeah, holy. Okay, hybrid just getting deleted. We got some void rays in there too. I can see the. There's like two of them dropping a little bit of a beam action there. We got some more motherships coming here. Oh my god, is that ten of them? I think that's ten of them, boys. Um, holy. Oh my god. Well, the Haka muters are making quick work of one of them. I don't know if the they're less susceptible to the bounce because of their size. Uh, but still, the Tempest combined with those Mutas, combined with these Hell's Angels, I think are gonna stop them. And that's gonna stop them. Tyrannosaurus shredding the shields on those Corsairs. Um, the Corsairs are gonna take care of those Mutals with ease. And it's gonna take care of all the ground units here with the Disruption Web here. Man, honestly, when I first played Brood War, I was like, what the heck does the Corsair do? Like, I, you know, I, I came from Red Alert 2. Red Alert 2, like, units only had one function, you know? They would shoot, they would. I don't know, entrench themselves, they would blow up, that was a simple game, you know? You know? But then, like, there was a Corsair's like, use this ability, Disruption Web. And I don't I don't think there was a help text. There might have been help text in, in the Brood War stuff, I don't remember. And I was just like, what is this? Like, can it shoot down? It cannot shoot down. I put it down, it's just like this blue thing on the ground, and, I'm, and it disappears. And I'm like, okay, so what was that for? Uh, but turns out it's actually very useful. Uh, except, I cannot imagine trying to cast Disruption Web, like... I, I cannot micro that stuff fast enough. Like, here the AI just casts it for you. Um, so that's really helpful. <laughs> it just sees ground units and it's like, disruption web. This huge flock of needles here, gonna tear through these two motherships. Wow, the Haka Mutas. Do not underestimate them. Look at how fast they're cutting through those motherships, actually. Holy, that is a flock. But you know what? The Mutalisks are really bad into these Corsairs. They just got turned to mincemeat, boys. Uh, and the Haka not having detection. It, it's going to cost them all those Hell's Angels here. Honestly, these Corsairs are carrying real hard. Like, holy. Oh man, they got rid of the Overseer. Now they're just going to melt everything's face off. And then there's more Corsairs here. Oh man. Honestly, I was kind of sussed up by the double Vorazune allies. But this is actually the perfect the perfect combination to support motherships. You know, Because Vorazune doesn't really have a gigantic capital ship. Um, she just, like, the best thing she's got is a Void Ray, and Void Rays are, like, mm, at best I'd say, like, they're on the, on par with, like, a Dameless Viking in terms of, like, the status of the ship, I guess. I don't know. Or, actually, yeah, yeah, that's probably the best comparison, because Han and Horner has, like, other bigger ships, right? Uh, but, yeah, like, that that's probably, like, where I would put the Void Ray. It's not really, like, a capital, capital ship, you know? Um, so, Alarak lending the motherships here can be really useful, but... Those Mutalisks are just completely slamming so these motherships. So it's good to know that the Haka Mutalisk, despite being more costly, are still really effective against motherships in large amounts. Um, I think Kerrigan Mutalisk or Abathur Mutalisk are both very effective against motherships. I remember there's a game that I played in in like back in like the old Unstoppable when it was like max HP. It would gain max HP, where I believe I just had. It was just me as Kerrigan versus like an Alarak who just kept slamming down motherships, you know, as you do. Um, and yeah, oh my god, those Archons are just getting eliminated. But like, yeah, the, the spoiler alert is that uh, Mutalisk 
do beat unstoppable motherships. You just gotta keep buying them. I think the game went off for like 40 minutes or something. I'm gonna see if I can find it or something. Maybe I'll put a card in this video. Um, but yeah, you gotta believe. So that, is that 12 motherships? I'm mean, let me do a real count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's only 10. Maybe, maybe one of them died. I don't know. Maybe one of them's hiding. You know, they're a little shy. Yeah, these units are just going to drive right past. But those, yeah, Dahaka committed to those Mutalisk. And, well, they are paying their dividends here pretty nicely. They're just going to smash those Hells Angels. Dahaka hopefully just try and jump in and stall the Corsairs. But the Corsairs, as soon as they get hold of those Mutalisk, those Mutalisk just disappear. Uh, so Corsairs are actually, like, the best counter to Mutalisk. Can you imagine, like, if Karax had access to a Corsair. Oh my god. You wouldn't be able to stop that man. I feel like he would instantly shoot up to S tier. I don't know. Because uh, I feel like all of Karax's woes stems from the existence of Mutalisk. Uh, or his lack of air splash, I think. Because Karax has great ground splash. Um, and yeah, he's got great tankiness in the air, but not much splash. Like He has no splash in the air. Sorry, I should say that. Although the new like orbital strike beacon does help, we're on tier five now. Um, yeah, that is twelve motherships, boys. Uh, the twelve motherships have arrived. I think they've secured their lead here. Like they've just perpetually stacking here because they're just simply too thick now. The huge flock of mutilists coming in here, trying to make a dent. They are gonna take down one mothership, two motherships, three motherships. Ooh, but twelve motherships just obliterated that mutilist stack like it was nothing. Yeah, they, they lost three of them, but they still have nine other motherships. That's a really high survival rate. Like 75% of them survived here. Um, and Corsair is going to come in here to just eliminate Zagara's corruptors and any ground anti-air she has. And all these motherships got to do is breathe on the Nexus. And the Nexus is going to disappear. And they're about to breathe on it right now. There we go. They're breathing on it. They're breathing on it. And that's it, boys. What a beautiful game. What a beautiful... Oh my god. Actually, that's a lie. This is 13 motherships. Man, this one just never went onto the battlefield. But holy boys. Taldarim Deathfleet here has arrived. I'm going to take over... Uh, let's take over... Oh, can I can I take command of... There we go. I'm going to take over Void Swarm's perspective here. There we go. Okay, yeah. So I was in the correct direct strike viewpoint. There we go. Mm, wow, okay. Azure Hunters are doing quite a lot of damage. I want to look at that composition here. What's the, what's the difference between Azure Hunter's composition and the other one? So Azure Hunter here has got a lot of... Ooh, did I just shift out of here? Okay, I guess I shift back into the regular view. It's got a lot of Corsairs. Mm, this composition has far less Corsairs. Just far less units in general. Oh, this, this one went for the Archons. Unfortunately, the Archons are not too great into uh, Artanis. Um, who we ended up pushing into, so I guess that's what happened there. But yeah, you can see here, secretly, this video is going to be about motherships, but the real heroes, I think, <laughs> were these Corsairs. I don't know, those Corsairs took care of every single mutil every single mothership threat. Like, they just eliminated these mutilists. Like, they didn't stand a chance, because they're light, so they're going to take extra damage. They just smashed these Corruptors, and to an extent, they smashed... Uh, I guess not the Tempest. Tempests are not really too big of a threat because the motherships can, you know, take those guys on their own. But yeah. Well, if you guys enjoyed this Shoutcast Sunday, be sure to leave a like. Send in your epic replays so you can maybe get a chance of getting it featured. The more epic the replay is, the higher the chance it's going to get featured. So yeah. Um, and yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys later. The tires. Let's light some fires. They picked the wrong fight.